Welcome to round one. I don't think I want to play first here, since, you know, I have mana stuff to do. Alright. Well, in the, in the draw, this hand is acceptable, I would say. And to have a Terraformer to play if I draw another land, and then, you know, from there we have Disembowel plus Z at Kronark and Simcor Weird, so we have some removal spells here to play. So my opponent has a turn on play, huh? A Boros Recruits. So maybe he was the one getting all those Boros cards there. Alright, we have three lands at least, which means that we will be able to play our Terraformer. Drawing into a mountain here would be pretty good. I mean, a, a, a Signet would be amazing here at this point. But oh well, until then, let's play while we can. If he like enchants his Boros Recruit with something like a Moldervine Cloak here, I'm definitely... Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That is gonna be kind of a problem, I guess. Yes, yeah, some forger, right? It's three mana to equip. All right, so maybe we should just disembowel his guy. Although I'm really not sure. I mean, it's likely that he spends his uh, next turn actually equipping and bash me for a bunch. Which would be pretty bad for me, but I think I have a Steam Core Weird, so I can take 5 damage for a turn and then play a, a Steam Core Weird if I draw into a, a, a mountain here. Let's hope I do. Hmm, Thunderheads. Yeah, it doesn't really work because he has first strike. So let's just play a Terraformer. To make sure that he has to actually equip if he wants to attack. And well, at this point he cannot use the second ability, right? To unattach his Sun Forger since he does not... Ooh, never mind. <laughs> so now he does have red mana. Yeah, so... His guy's getting equipped, it seems. No? Alright, so no. Yeah, I'm not, not blocking that. Not sure what he has there, but... Maybe some sort of card that deals one damage. Maybe some... Maybe Karam or something. Ooh. Gork Clan Blood Scale. Yeah, that is gonna be problematic, I would say. I really need to draw into a mountain right now. Or a cremate. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. But uh at this point here we could play like a gob hobbler rats. Or we could play a Thunderheads and ambush these guys here. Alright. Let's think for a second. Oh, this guy has first strike too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that would be a beating. So my Thunderheads won't even get to kill him. So I think... What I want to do here is actually play a Gob Hobbler Rats. Man, that sucks. Now let's pay the blue mana here to transform our lands into mountains. Yeah, mountain. Let's play a Gob Hobbler Rats. And say go. He has three cards in hand, but the problem is I do not have a way to deal with his artifact. I don't realize this guy has first strike. <coughs> Alright, so he plays an Izzard Boiler Works. So he's gonna equip something here, maybe? To his Gore Clan guy there. 
I suppose. <coughs> if we draw a mountain here, we, we are alive. Since we can uh, play our Steam Call Weird and get rid of his Gork Clan Blood Scale. But if we do not draw into a mountain, then we are going to be pretty screwed. Alright, he's attacking with his guy there. Don't think I block, right? No reason to at this point. I'm, I am at, at 11, but... You know. Alright, Orzov Basilica. So, next turn we will be able to actually disembowel his guy. But he will be able to unequip some forge too. Man, that really, really sucks. I think at this point what we have to do here is actually uh, play an Orzov of Basilica, returning an island, then chump his uh, blood scale with our Gob Hobbler rats, and then cremating our own guy to, to draw a card at the end of his turn. I think that's kind of what we want to be doing there. All right. See what happens. If he gets to unequip some forge, yes, that is going to be a problem. Either way, I will block his Gore Clan guy here. Take me with both, huh? I don't think I want to block the Boros recruit, since he can now get something to pump his guy here and whatnot. But let's jump this guy, I guess. <coughs> All right, so he's gonna unattach and get something here to kill one of my guys. I, I reckon. Let's see what that is. Maybe a lightning helix to shoot my terraformer. That would be pretty obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, not going so well this game. Mana problems. Ooh, Rally the Righteous. Untap, and it gets... Alright, my Gob Hobbler guy will get plus 2, plus 0, 2, but his Boros Recruit will get that too. You could like disembowel his recruit at this point, right? The problem here is that yeah, I don't want to disembowel his recruit since, you know, he is going to be able to pump his guy during my turn, so that means that I will not get to uh, Steam Core weird it. So I'm going to take 3 damage. Right? Is that correct? Suppose it is. And I will uh, cremate his thing there. Alright, so he's actually equipping, which is great for me since I will be able to Steam Core Weird his guy. So, does that mean that I get to uh, disembowel this guy here? I'm not sure. I can always jump with the Weird, right? So, let's cremate his Ready the Righteous to draw a card here. Alright, cancel the necro stages. That is not going to help me right now. Ooh, mountain. That on the other hand does. So let's play a weird. <coughs> and kill his blood scale. While he doesn't have the mana to activate it. So yeah, if he equips, I am uh, chomping with my Steam Core Weird, I guess. And if he equips, then... Ooh, gives Trample, huh? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, definitely blocking, though. 
cannot take 6 damage here at this point to have him unequip and just lightning helix my face. So, yeah, let's block it like this. If he uh, pumps his guy, he will not be able to unequip his Sun Forger, which is going to be... Alright. So I think we are going to have to disembowel his Bower's Recruit. I'm taking 3, going down to 5. Hopefully he doesn't play a Mountain, he didn't. It's great. Alright, Vesper Girl is not going to be a very good one at this point. But we could, like, disembowel and then consult the, the Necro Sages, maybe forcing him to discard, I'm not sure. Or we could disembowel and play a Snapping Drake. That sounds a little better. Let's disembowel his guy. Play a Snapping Drake. And attack with our Terraformer. Then we can next turn play an Izzet Cronarch uh, to get back our Disembowel. Ooh, Coiling Oracle. It's pretty good. So he's going to equip, and he's going to have mana to unequip it. That's interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. We if if we draw into a land here, we will not be able to play this at the same turn. But we have Wrecking Ball. We have a lot of stuff, right? Ooh, he's going to Demon Fire me? Is that what this is? Ooh, he has a Parade of Spies of Order, too. I mean, he certainly has some powerful cards, but others like, like Boros Recruit. And, you know, playing both Skarg and, and Parav might mean that his mana base is not so hot. Or he, or he may have uh, too much mana. Alright. He's playing his idol on. So. Right, drink to an island. We'll be able to Thunderheads if we really need to. I think that may be good enough. Nah, it isn't since he can pump his guy here. Uh, source of the wood deal this time. Yeah, this could be pretty bad for me too. He has two cards in hand now, so I think consulting the Necro Sages here sh could be good. Uh, let's force him to discard his hand. One, two, three. Let's see what happens. At the very least, if we lose this game, we, we will have seen more of his cards, right? Alright, Seeds of Strength and Chant of Vitugazi by Creatures. Yeah, that's... Alright. <laughs> I think we c sadly cannot attack here. We have to leave mana open to uh, play a Thunderhead. Since, you know, n neither of his guys have First Strike, then this would be at least good to... Uh, to block, he could equip and just search for an instant or sorcery here. All right, he's equipping his coiling oracle. See what he does if he bashes with his idol on two. Yeah, all right, let's play a thunderheads. We are not going to play the repli replicate cost. Let's play a Thunderheads, and now I think we can. Uh, yeah, you know, sadly, I think maybe I will have to actually double block, lose all of my guys. <laughs> Alright, so he's doing something here. What is that? He's searching for a white or uh, or red instant or sorcery. I cannot foresee what that is. It really can be a counter spell since, you know, it's not white or or red. And this also means that he cannot uh, make his guy trample. Which means that I get to, to keep my, my 
Snapping Drake here. Ooh, Karam. The next one damage that will be dealt to this guy. Alright. No problem. I don't think that worries me too much. So I'm gonna block his Eidolon with this guy and his Carlin Oracle with this guy. He doesn't even have white mana to activate his Eidolon, which is fine by me. Alright, so I think this worked out better than I thought. Now I can go get a uh, a disembowel here. Or even like if I have the man ooh wrecking ball that's excellent let's see one two three four five so I cannot just play an is it chronarch to get back uh to get back a disembowel and just use it right away right so maybe I should get a console the necrosages I mean I cannot get a, a custom of the necrosages and use it right away to make him discard both his, his cards here. Either way, let's first of all attack. <coughs> then I think we can just... Uh, if he plays a creature, we can just play a Wrecking Ball. And then next turn we can play an Izzet Cronarch, right? Uh, one, two, three... Yeah, so I guess we could play a Vesper Go even here. One, two, three. And then if he plays something, we are going to Wrecking Ball it. And next turn, hopefully, we will get to draw into a land to play an Isochron Knight and force him to discard both his cards. Then we are going to be in good shape, I guess. So he has two cards in hand. Let's see what he does. It's nice to remember that the Wrecking Ball can now also get Prav too. Alright, Beacon Hawk. So he's going to equip his Hawk here. Ooh, Free Wind Equinox. So he has no cards in hand at this point, right? Alright. So, will he equip one of his guys here? Maybe the Beacon Hawk, right? And what we will be able to do here actually is to play the Wrecking Ball in his... Alright. To Wrecking Ball his Free Wind guy, then play an Izzard Krona, get him back a Disembowel, and remove his Beacon Hawk, right? If we draw into a land. Uh, yeah. That seems reasonable, I would say. Let's Wrecking Ball this guy already. And if we don't draw into a land, well, then we are likely going to draw into something good. <laughs> Alright. That certainly qualifies as something good, even though... I kinda don't want to, to lose the game here. <laughs> which means that I will not be able to... Ah, that sucks. So, what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five. To play these at Cronarch. I think we are going to attack with both these guys here. And, well, he is going to be able to deal at least four damage to me. Put me down to one and just unequip some fortune and then maybe win. If I play a Solifuge and attack with everything, I would do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to go down to 3. That is not going to be enough. So I think the play here is actually to uh, bash with both these guys. See if he blocks one of them. He didn't. So I play an Izzet Cronarch, right? One, two, three, four, five. This Zimbabwe is the converter mana cost, not the power toughness. Uh, so, oh, never mind. I do have to play uh, red mana here to play this guy. So, you're going to play the Izzet Cronarch and get... Uh, 
a wrecking ball at this point, I guess. Yeah, seems fine. So let's see. Let let's hope he doesn't have <laughs> a burn spell in, in his deck, but I think <laughs> that's kind of impossible. <laughs> Either way, let's see what he does. Hopefully, he taps all of his uh, green and or red sources here and isn't able to make his guy trample. Ooh, Celestia Guild Mage. Yeah, that's that's kind of nasty. But if he play that, that probably means that he cannot uh, kill me this turn, right? Maybe he can. I don't know. If I draw into a uh, mountain here, I'll be able to wrecking ball his guy and play a solid. Uh, oh no, never mind, because this guy requires two red mana. All right, so let's declare blockers here. Let's see if he is going to make his guy trample. He is, and then he's going to search for some sort of burn spell here. Oh, alright, his guy will not be dead. Sure. I'm gonna go down to one life. He's going to untap his own guy. <coughs> yeah, that's kind of problematic at this point. So, alright, we can uh, Wrecking Ball his Beacon Hawk at this point, and that's what we are going to do. Problem is, uh, we will have to actually to actually block his guy with all of my guys, and even so, it won't be good enough, right? He's at ten. So I think, yeah, there's nothing here we can do at this point. So yeah. Why not? Let's just try and wrecking ball his guy. The problem here was really our early game, since you know <sighs> we didn't manage to. I mean, he he didn't manage to deal a lot of damage to us in the early game. What is that? Alright, if that's what he wants to do, then fine by me, I guess. Against Trample. He gave me one extra turn here, I guess, right? Let's play a Seal of Fire, I guess, and get rid of his Celesnia Guild Mage there. And say go. Cannot attack. I mean, he could just have won this game at this point here, and he didn't. So I guess there's really no need to to uh, concede here. Let's let's force him to do uh, his stuff here to equip and give his guy trample and whatnot. All right. So I think I block with an Izzet Cronarch here. He's sprawling and with a Vesper Gull, he's Cito Spawn guy. It's also good to know that he doesn't have uh, a Lightning Helix in his deck, otherwise I would be dead already. And at this point he's just wasting time, right? Alright, he's taking his time. Playing his Aurora Eidolon. Which means that he can even, like, <laughs> activate his card, but he really doesn't need to, since, you know, he can activate one. Oh, so he's wasting his mana here? Oh, he's activating Skarg, I guess. Alright, so he wasted a bunch of time of his clock, which is not, uh, 
something that cannot uh, come back to bite him later on. Let's hope we do better this game here. Uh, War Torch Goblin. Target blocking creature, right? Yeah, so if it was a, an, a block blocking creature or a blocked creature, this would be kind of good to play, but... So yeah, I don't think there's anything here I really need to, to, to do. You could play a Strange of Undeath. But what would it take would we take out here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I want to take out, so I still think I do not want to play first. Alright, this hand is pretty good. I have a signet. We still uh lack one red mana for our solifuge here. Uh, so let's not mulligan here. And let's hope he doesn't have his Sun Forger. That's pretty much what what uh, made us lose the previous game there. Right, let's start with the Swamp now. Is it Kronark also makes me happy since you know it will be able to get back my Wrecking Ball. Is he gonna play a Boros Recruit? No, he isn't. All right. So let's play an Island and wreck the Signet. If he doesn't play anything here, I mean, he he will play a land, and I will have Wrecking Ball up if he misses one more land draw, but he won't, since, you know, he did play a Forest. Alright, this is going to be good at some point, so let's play a Demon's Jester to start, you know, beating him up. Uh, gets plus two plus one, yeah. I feel like Solifuge could be good here if we end up drawing into all right, into a, another mountain. Ooh, Wrecking Ball. That is going to be something, I guess. Let's, at this point, draw two cards, I guess. Uh, do it like this. We need to draw into our you know, land drops here. Alright, so we will be able to play Solifuge soon enough here. And we can even get back the console the Necro Stages with the Kronach if we really want to. Alright, we, we are off to a good start here, this game. Much better than the previous one. If he misses a land drop here, I'm certainly uh, blowing up his his Chancery. Ooh, he, and he may just do that. Alright, so but he does have a Celestia Signet. He's bashing me, alright. And playing a Pitskoke, sure. Uh, so do I play a Solifuge here? To trade for his Pitskoke? He can even save his Pitskoke, right? Preventing three damage with his Eidolon, but I do have Thunderheads, but I cannot flash it back at this point. I think I just l uh, leave mana open to a wrecking to play a wrecking ball. And what? Maybe just uh, blowing up his Chancery here will will not be bad. All right, let's just bash with our Demon's Jester, I guess. <coughs> and we could play like a terraformer, right? To try and block his idol on or something. But I feel like right now I do not really want to do that. I actually want to see if he's gonna miss his land drop so that I can, you know, just blow up his chancery. If he uh, attacks me before playing anything, all right. So let's see what. What is that? Four, five mana. What is that? Alright, so maybe he's going to attack first. I hope he does because now I'm certainly going to blow up his chancer if he goes to attack. Ooh. 
so that's not good. Man. Yeah, that is going to have to. <clears throat> to be destroyed here. Alright. Taking four. So our plan here is to actually destroy his Lesnar Guild Mage. And play a Solifuge. I think we could just destroy him now. If he has some sort of shenanigan here to do. Like another land to play and just make us a prowling. So let's do this now while we can. And then we can play our Solifuge and beat up. Alright. Ooh, Nivm is it. One more land and that can come in. But at this point I'm playing the Solifuge. Alright. He's going to go down to 10. And at this point I think I like my position since... I do have removal here, and uh, if he like bashes me with both in place, one, one guy here I can uh, just, you know, kill his guy. Maybe he's going to leave mana open for his idol on. <coughs> Alright, Beacon Hawk. If he bashes me with both his guys now, I'm certainly going to destroy his Beacon Hawk during my turn to deal uh, six more damage to him. Alright, so maybe he's not doing that. Sure. So that means that I'm definitely attacking him, and if I draw into a land... Oh, he can actually pump his guy, right? Yes, he can. I can, if I draw in, play my Niv Mezzet, the Fire Mine. Ooh, that's gonna be good. So let's see. Don't think we've bashed with the Demon Jester, but I do think we bash with our Solifuge. Alright. He can sack his idol if he really wants to. But then I have some options, right? Let's see what he does here. Bash with the Solifuge and then play Niv Mizzet, I suppose. I think it's it's possible that he blocks with the Pit Scope and then just prevents damage with his idol on. Which means that I probably should have attacked with my Demon's Jester too, right? Yeah, I suppose. Let's do two damage him. He's going to do, go down to eight, and we are going to play our Nev Mizzet. All right. Let's hope he doesn't have a removal spell here. At this point, he doesn't have uh, the the mana to actually play removal spells. <laughs> Since he doesn't have you know black or red mana. He could play like a Plumes of Peace, but that wouldn't really mind. That I wouldn't really mind, since, you know, he, he's still gonna take damage here. Alright, so he's bashing with his Pitscoke. I think I'll block with my Demon Jester. Since I, I don't want him to activate his... Uh, oh, alright, so he has some sort of combo trick. I was gonna say, I, I don't want him to activate Bloodthirst here. So you think like if he has combat trick, then he is welcome to use it. At this point, I don't think I'm attacking with my Nev Mizzet. May leave it up to just draw into extra cards here. I mean, I could attack since if he has some sort of combat trick, I do have a wrecking ball to to get rid of his of his blocker. See if he does anything here. I think he wasn't expecting me to block with my Demon's Jester. Alright, so he let his guy and my guy die. 
the draw a card, you want damage to target creature or player, huh? That's interesting. Didn't even realize that, but I think at this point I'm going to do the damage to him. Uh, do I attack with my Niv Mizzet at this point? I'm really not sure. I think I don't. I want to leave mana open to have Wrecking Ball up and even Cremate since I, I'm going to be drawing a card and dealing damage to his guys. Alright, he's playing something here. Let's see what that is. Not a path to exile, thankfully. <laughs> so is he going to attack me? I think he is. That's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna take it. If he has some bloodthirst guy, I think he can play it. Seeds of Strain, huh? So, if I like... Yeah, I can Wrecking Ball his guy, right? But I don't think I need to. Let's see what he does here. It's gonna be a 4-4, four, four, gonna do 4 damage to me and gonna untap his guy. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to go down to 8. See what he does here. He's wary now because he knows he has to actually pump his, his guy's toughness here. So let's draw a card. D1 damage to his face, then cremate something in his graveyard, likely a, a Celestia guild mage there. And let's. Oh, convolute, that's gonna be good, I think. Let's do one more damage to his face. And erect this guild mage, look at that. So I think at this point, it's correct for me to actually just Wrecking Ball his guy. Since I'll be able to do exactly 5 damage to him and have Convalid mana up. Let's destroy his Hawk. D1 damage by drawing a card here and have Convalid to counter whatever he does. Alright. Let's D1 damage to his face. Alright, so he just conceded. Alright, this was certainly much better than my previous game. <laughs> Let's hope the third game goes as well as that one. Uh, let's see again if I if there's anything that I want to bring in. If I w were a bit more aggro here, I would bring in a taste for me, and since I didn't see a lot of removal spells from him. Uh, Ostiary Throw, is that going to be good enough? Now, I don't want to put a strain on my mana base any more than it is already strained here, so... <laughs> yeah, alright, let's play, play like this. See if he chose to play first. Yes, he did. And I certainly do not mind that, since I do have a Signet. I mean, I do have a good hand with lots of removal spells and... And perfect mana. Alright, let's start with... A uh, mountain, I suppose, this time. Then we can play a Recto Signet. Oh, he did not have a second land. That's very, very interesting. Let's play a Signet. The next turn we can uh, play a Basilica. Or maybe just kill his guy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's gonna be good too. Alright. So I think maybe I'll play Disembowel here. And just play an Oz of Basilica. We turn in a, a mountain. Let's hope it doesn't draw into anything else here. Alright, he did draw into a flyer. Ooh, this is good. We will get to play our, our Sphinx. So I think we're going to play an island here at this point. Wait to see if he 
plays anything else to see if we counter that I mean we could play a wrecking ball in his land but I think that's greedy alright now he has red mana ooh thundersong th thundersong trumpeter one two three four five yeah so I think I'm going to counter his trumpeter here and uh, might during my turn play my Cer cerulean sphinx yeah that that trumpeter would would be annoying and now since I wanna tap out I wanna you know spend my counter spell so that I can tap out for my sphinx and have only removal spells left ooh man <laughs> Which means that I cannot play my Sphinx at this point, right? So I think I'm going to play a mountain and just kill his guy right now because I mean I have to kill this guy actually, don't I? It's likely that he does not have a, a land and he will not draw into one. So I think we could play a, a, a Sphinx here, right? It's kind of... Uh, it's going to be a gamble, that's for sure, but... I think it may very well be worth it in the end. Let's see if he doesn't draw into a land here. Alright, apparently he didn't. Which is awesome for us. So now we can actually untap and just... Oh, he did. Alright. So we're going to sacrifice this guy to kill our Sphinx. That's unfortunate, but I think it was a shot worth taking there. Let's play a Terraformer, I guess. And... Well, if he has uh, the combat trick, he can... he can actually get us with the Keckling Flames, which means that I probably it's probably better for me to actually play the Wrecking Ball there. Let's see if he does anything here. He has four cards in hand at this point, which is pretty bad for me. Alright, three mana. What is that? Oh man, some forger, huh? Yeah, that is going to be a problem. I think I'm gonna cackling flame this guy at this point. And now since I do have the the wrecking ball, if he plays another creature and goes to equip it, I can just wrecking ball it. Let's hope we draw into some good stuff here. All right, Cargan Pitskok. I right, I think. Train of, of thought certainly qualifies. Oh, this, this guy's gonna be unblockable, right? So I think my best bet here is to like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can actually do that. I can uh, draw two cards here. Never mind. Let's do it like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. And still have mana open to play my wrecking ball. I draw into two cards. Hopefully something good. Alright, cremate. It's alright, and an island. We cannot play an island. So yes, we what we are going to do here is actually bash with our terraformer. And when he goes to equip his guy, we are going to wreck and ball it. If he plays a land, we can even wait until he uh, activates his Skarg. Alright. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't uh, waste my Wrecking Ball on his lands. <laughs> Alright, since he d did that, I'm going to just destroy his guy. Since I, I don't want him to, to go get an instant or sorcery there. Ooh, Rectos, Guild Mage. That I actually like. 
let's see we can take out a Celestian Guild Mage here from him to draw into an extra card ooh in a Wrecking Ball excellent alright so let's uh, bash without our format we're we not playing the land at this point since we may want to uh, use our Rectus Guild Mage let's play it like this alright so we can now kill anything he plays with toughness 2 or less and if he doesn't play anything we can make a goblin token at the end of my turn here at the end of his turn that is and we do have a wrecking ball backup alright so I stitch in time interesting he lost the flip <laughs> awesome Alright, let's make a goblin. Oh, we even paid one extra mana there, right? Ooh, Steam Core Weird is good too. Let's bash with all of our guys. going to go down to 10 and at this point he is in, in trouble I would say we can make two tokens here if we, if we need to or we can discard two cards to kill something he plays here alright Aurora Eidolon and he played a Prav. He has one card in hand at this point. If he goes to equip his Aurora Eidolon, I am going to Wrecking Ball it. I have three minutes left so I gotta beat him pretty quickly here. Alright, let's discard a card. One, two, three, four. He's got an island to kill his idol on, and uh, put a goblin token onto the battlefield. So he's at ten. If we make two tokens here, we could uh, just win the game right here, right? So yeah, let's let's try that. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. He's saying good game. Yeah, it was. Uh, you have some very good games here. I'm happy that I managed to to beat him <laughs> after that less than than optimal first game. All right, so it's on to round two.